My name is John Kearney. I'm a professor and the head of School in Human Movement and Nutrition Sciences at the University of Queensland. In our research, we're interested in something called physical literacy. Physical literacy is the competence, confidence, and knowledge to be physically active for life. When children are under the age of six or seven, it's really important that we focus on practicing fundamental movement skills, uh, getting kids comfortable doing lots of different activities. Our research involves actually coming up with activities and games that promote child development generally. We're particularly interested in the development of what we call fundamental movement skills, hopping, skipping, running, jumping. But we want to do it in a way that engages kids. Um, it can't be too structured, it has to be fun, has to be creative, and we have to give them opportunities to have ownership over what it is that they're doing. They feel like they're involved and they have direction. The really important thing is that they feel competent and confident in their abilities to move. And one way we can do that is by encouraging the kids to lead. They should be taking the action and the lead role in, in structuring the activities and games that they play. Today I got to play with Tarai and Enrique. Um, they were a ton of fun. The video that you'll see here um, is lots of great images of, of these kids taking things on themselves, inventing their own games, um, picking up on things that we're, we're, we're instructing them and showing them, and then um, basically owning them and taking them in, in directions that they want to go. Um, a lot of the activities that we uh, focused on are things that involve upper and lower body coordination, um, moving with hands, moving with hands and feet at the same time, balance-based activities. All of these things are important for a child's general development. One of the activities, one of the games that we played will probably be familiar to a lot of people uh, watching this video. It's called Heads and Shoulders, Knees and Toes, and there's a rhyme and a song that goes with it. That's actually a really wonderful activity that combines both moving and thinking. One of the variations in the game that we tried was, I would say, when I point to my ears, I want you to point to a different point, part of your body. So again, that involves working memory, attention, um, being able to uh, hold information and manipulate information in your brain. Those are all fundamental cognitive activities that are really the fundamentals of learning. Um, so what we do when we combine these things together um, is be able to promote two aspects of development that are really, really critical for children. One is the development of executive functioning, which is essential for learning, working memory, attentiveness, being able to ignore uh, distractions in the environment, but also those fundamental movement skills, being able to coordinate action to rhythm and coordinate timing and movement. One of the things that you might notice in the video is that we didn't really have a lot of equipment with us. We had a, a stuffed toy that was a strawberry, uh, we had a couple of tennis balls, we, and we had a frisbee, and we had a grassy area. And really that's all you need. The, the kids found the, the tiles uh, were there already in, in the park and they used them to jump and hop and skip. Um, and the toys that we used are things that you can find around the house. You, you don't need to spend a lot of money or have expensive equipment to encourage activity. In, in fact, many kids think it's novel and fun when you just use things around the house and turn them into toys or turn them into different kinds of implements. Guidelines suggest that kids should get at least 60 minutes of what we call moderate to vigorous physical activity every single day. So that's moving our bodies, um, maybe getting a little bit of sweat, which is always a good thing. Um, that's a lot of time and it's important that kids have that time in order to develop those fundamental movement skills and a love of movement. Try to encourage creativity and imagination. Always emphasize fun. Friends are good too and family. Don't be too concerned about the actual movement skills or what the children are doing when they're in this age group. Just encourage them to participate. It's going to be a lot easier to, to meet those guidelines if those children are motivated and feel like they want to do it. That's really the most important thing. Um, be creative and uh, be experimental and, and you have fun too.